beautiful people. My name is Naila, your host for the Art of Living Show. Our guest today is a former MP of South Mugirango constituency. Losing his elections, he was inspired to start dairy farming. He's a successful entrepreneur and he runs a smart dairy firm. He is an accountant by profession and runs an accountant management firm. He is aspiring for a parliamentary seat in 2022. Watch this space. He invites us to his home to learn how we can utilize a small space to make money. Let's discover, explore, and engage. Hello, Muheshima Ayuko. <laughs> Muheshima Ayuko, Afi. Oh, he's over there. Hi, Naila. Hi, how are you? Karibu. Asante. This is a beautiful space. It's a, it's a house in the, in the rural setting. Uh -huh. And we're happy to be here. You're happy to be here? Yeah, welcome home. Thank you very much. Wow. It's beautiful. This is for you. Um, it's a cactus plant. What do you call it? Cactus. Cactus. Yes. Which fa you know, for the family? Um, I don't know the family, but I know it's a succulent plant, which is very easy to maintain. So you only water it once a week. Lovely. Lovely. And I hope it's a gift to all our guests in Art of Living. Basically, I think my wife loves green, so yeah. this is a special dedication to her. This is a special dedication to her. To her. Yes. Thank you. Now, I'm looking at your garden. Mm. Oh, do we come back later for this? Plenty of time I have for you. Yes. Since I, I spared the whole day for you. Yes. How fun. Thank you. Whichever way, as, as you please. So, how big is your space? How big is this land, by the way? Well, I'm actually sitting on uh, on title one acre. One, one acre? And how big have, is this um, acre? Is this the normal acre more, that we see every day? It's about planning and arranging the, the setting. So, it looks small, mm -hmm. but the kind of arrangement makes it look big. Okay. But basically, we're titled on one acre, uh -huh. and we have a bit of repetitive reserve that we cannot cut. It's not titled, mm -hmm. but basically on title on we on one acre. One acre. Yes. Wow, that's amazing. Mm -hmm. So how you've divided it is, you have your little garden here. Yes. You have your home there, and then at we the are, back you have the. Uh, we have. Uh, a farm so this open almost everything under one roof mm -hmm. so this is a home yes and we have a farm on the other side and of course they are distinct but uh, under one roof easy to manage and of course cows require some bit of uh, proximity mm -hmm. very sensitive mm -hmm. those girls before they give you with some white cream yes you must really handle them with care you handle them with care exactly. just like all girls <laughs> <laughs> You yeah. need to handle all girls with care. That's right. Yeah. Okay. So, so welcome home. Thank you. How long have you been here in Korea? I certainly think perhaps as long as before you were born. Is it? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Why were you in 1990? Well, don't tell me because I don't want to know your age. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> We uh -huh. have been here since 1990 okay. and developed this thing in a very modest way. All right. As you can truly, I can truly confess that we started with a very humble background. All right. And we have grown so far. Yes. And we thank God for this. Yeah. How big is your house? I mean, from here, it's a mansion, clearly. How, how many rooms do you have? Uh, I can't compare it with mansion, the, the kingly mansion. But uh -huh. mine is the modest hustler kind of mansion. Uh-huh. And uh, basically, we only have a seven-bedroom house. Okay. With a guest wing. With a guest wing. Yes. All right. And this you built when you moved in immediately or is it you've just been... It has been a gradual thing. Okay. The problem these days is that people want to leave university and drive a VX yes. instantly. Yes. reason why some of our young people are committing suicide because they can't meet the expectations. Mm. You know, anything that you start, you know, and you grow with mm. is value and you enjoy what you're doing. Mm -hmm. So we started actually, we, when this house was started, we only had three complete rooms. Okay. One was used by, by bedroom, mm -hmm. one as children's bedroom, mm -hmm. one was the kitchen, mm -hmm. without a sink, of course. Mm -hmm. and that's how we, we grew. Mm -hmm. And uh, we did, of course, a, a fairly old school house then, because it was fashionable. Yes. But about 2010, 20, 13, mm -hmm. we did a, a, a facelift right. without changing the structure 
But okay. of course, the roof. You just did the face did the lift. Face, of course, we did touch up a few things. Okay. But the foundation and everything else remained the same. Mm -hmm. We had to give it a different uh, roof outlook. Yes. Initially, we had um, a different roof, but mm -hmm. we only changed the roof and uh, one or two rooms. Uh, of course, with anticipation of getting more guests like yourselves, and uh, since we want to run for a big office, yes, we we'll create some more space for more guests. More guests. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. I like the finishing. So you worked with an architect. Was this your design? Was this what you had in the in mind when you're starting, or this has been gradual in terms Sometimes, of ideas of creating this it, space? Well, um, most of this work has been done by family. Yeah. Uh, me and my wife, we've been designing and we sit and agree what to do. Mm -hmm. And whatever changes we make, we do kind of consultations and concurrence. Yeah. She loves bright colors. Okay. So basically that's why we pick on this. Mm -hmm. And of course with the furniture, she's a very neat lady. She doesn't uh, like maintain that. Yes. So that everything should be bright so that uh, sometimes you have people working for you and they can cover some bit of that it yes. needs to be displayed and shown immediately that something goes wrong okay and then we move on Lovely. so basically it's actually uh even the gardening has been done without any professional output here this it's, was done so you, you your wife is it's a landscaper and exactly that wow. and, uh, we also don't like uh, too much uh, concrete yes. that's why she chose to go green this, okay so the perimeter wall has never been i mean the perimeter fence has not been a wall yes. a natural fence Fantastic. one it traps a lot of dust yes. of course it provides aeration and you don't feel like you're in a jail, a jail environment mm. so when you you feel free yes. within your compound when you see green Agreed. and of course the extension is refreshing it is absolutely Good this is very refreshing and different Thank from you. just having concrete wall we are humble you're humble Caribou. I can't wait to see your space. Caribou. Okay, Naila. You're welcome home. Thank you. Yeah. Mom, can I have a drink for the guest? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. This is a gift for your mom. Okay. And she loves green. Alright, thank you. Alright, so this this is our Space, all right. And, oh, uh, this is your entrance. Of course, we politicians will see so many guests, so some, sometimes we start here uh -huh. before we go in. Good choice of even the furniture. Yes, this I also did them myself. Initially, I was I was, uh, I was a carpenter before I got to politics. I've done so many things in life, and I, when I write my book, to be inter interesting read. This once we did ourselves with my workshop. Wow. But of course, when I went to politics, things went haywire and I lost that bit of uh, touch with the uh, furniture. But I still have some bit of sentimental attachment to them. I even have keep some, some tools which I used to make this furniture today. So what inspired you to have this sitting at the time? Because this, how old are these seats? These were done in 1986. What? What we only change is this, the cushions, but the basic and the design is the same. My goodness. In wow. 1986. Okay. And this, co this coach then was, you were selling to watch be my seven seater, you will be turning about 125,000 shillings that time. How much? 125,000 shillings that 100, time. 125,000 yes. 125, shillings. A hundred? Yes, that time. Wow. You do quality. Okay. And Hutchins be my actually selling quality. I see the continuation of the same theme that you had in there. Yes. But you got a different seat here. This, I, this, this was, uh, of Very course, we tried to bring it close to what it is out there, too much yeah. with the floor. Mm -hmm. And uh, these were basically uh, imported from China. Okay. Uh, as I told you, this house was built in 19. 1990, early 1990, mm -hmm. but we did a bit of a facelift. Mm -hmm. I said the facelift did not tight, tight the structure, but the outlook mm -hmm. and the finish of the, the, like the roof. So mm -hmm. when we went to a shop for shopping out there, mm -hmm. everything else was a package, mm -hmm. which you took a design and it was designed from the factory. So we were, we did this was tailor-made. Ta yeah, for sure. Oh, fantastic. Mm -hmm. Before you moved in here, where yes. were you living before? You know, uh, uh, my journey is long again. Mm -hmm. I lived in one room house. Okay. And of course, uh, confession time. Yes. Uh, it's important <laughs> because we want young and, people. And, and that's why I'm saying, and I want to emphasize that our young people must not want to be rich today. Work 
work, work. Even the Bible tells us if you don't work, then don't eat. I started as a, as a, as a, as a young uh, bachelor in one of the houses in, in Kawangware. Mm -hmm. And that house was a one room house and it had cardboard timber, timber mm -hmm. uh, wall, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. uh, without electricity. And uh, in, in between the timber, there was a, there was a hardboard, you know. What, uh, what, what were you doing as a business at the time, as a young I was, man? I, was, uh, I worked for the Ministry of Finance as a clerk. As a clerk. Before I went to university, because in, two, in 1979, when we did all level with my brother, late, Yes. He qualified, we both qualified to go to Form 5 and 6, okay. but we couldn't afford because my father retired at that time. So we went back to, I chose to go and work, it was mm -hmm. my big brother, okay. push him to Form 5 and 6. Who was older, your brother? My other brother, okay. who was a, uh, mm -hmm. the late brother. Mm -hmm. So we, we had, to, had to step back for him to proceed. Mm -hmm. I was employed as a clerical officer in the Ministry of Finance then. Yes. And uh, basically that is how... Um, mm -hmm. Uh, that's how I, I started living there mm. in a very modest environment. Okay. So I'll tell you the experience there was very interesting because the, the, the house was infested with rats. Wow. So sometimes you keep your sock somewhere yeah. and one morning you don't have one sock. Because it's the been eaten by the rats. It's been by the rats. Wow. That's how people, where people, where people start. And when we talk about the experience where our fathers were not known, yes. it's God's place that has put us here. And we thank God for that. So, so what inspired your brother to get into politics? Because I know that's a journey that got you into politics as well. No. What is that thing that got him? Maybe you can break it down to us so that we understand your I, journey into politics I as well. I truly don't know what inspired him, but mm -hmm. he truly... It was a bit easy uh -huh. because after university, mm -hmm. he started doing law. Now, as a private practitioner, then if you were to go to politics, you resign. I had a job, a permanent job now, after mm -hmm. university and bank, of course, never changed. Mm -hmm. That is before we went to university, both of us. Mm -hmm. But now, when you go to politics, we had gone both of us, went to India and bank. So he went, he started practice. It was easy for him to continue practicing, rather go to politics and still come back to, to, law. to, to, to yes. law. Yes. Me, if I had to resist, leave the job, yeah. I truly would have, you know, lost that opportunity. So, so, so I let point, him go. Yes. When people, I think there was also a claim that people wanted to change in the, in the constituency. Okay. And uh, my dad. Uh, was the, your dad in politics? No. Okay. He actually served people very diligently as a class, as a messenger okay. in the KC court. Okay. I think that gave the family a little bit of a good name. Yes. So you guys had a good name back and home. I can tell you, yes. not my name, but yeah. my dad's name. Your father's so name. So I think people thought like for a change, Enoch, the letter Enoch would pick that matter from there. Okay. And between the two of us, yes, he had an opportunity to go and, and even if he lost, he would still go back to the office. Okay. If I had to lose, I had a stable job in the yes. authority, yeah. so I could not. I left it, left it for him to run. Yeah. And then when he passed on, it was a very emotional moment. Mm. And this guy said, this young man did a very good job. This, this mm. uh, mango tree that produced that fruit, we want to pick one from there. My mother was a bit resistant. Mm -hmm. But my father said, well, we go to war. Mm -hmm. He told me, you are a man, proceed. So that's why I took off from my brother by virtue of the fact that he passed on and they thought they wanted replacement from the family. Yes. And they truly, they kept their promise mm. by, of course, uh, electing me yes. into, into office. Do you think you made your brother proud after you took over this? Looking place? back, yes. Yeah? For sure. You oh, made yes, your brother certainly. proud. Okay. I'm sure wherever he is, he must be smiling. Yeah. Uh, it was very difficult to fit in his shoes. Yes. Of course, having come in midstream, yeah. when you are from an office where you are signing papers and giving directives, to now listen to people's issues and carry everybody's issues on the back. Yeah. Uh, I managed. That's why I was selected three times. Was it as vocal as you do you think? Yes, I think it was even more fiery than I am. Really? <laughs> <laughs> nice. Whose yeah. painting is this? When I look uh, here. Again, again, I, I, I have a very good rapport. Okay. This, this is my my uh, nephew. He, he told me, Uncle, I want to give you a gift. Nice. Some people you touch their knives, they come back without you realizing. Yes. You, you find there's something dropping out there and you're game. Okay. Yeah. 
That is a picture I was training the UDA aspirants in the Vasi Nigishu. Okay. Uh, so uh, don't ask me too many questions about that, but I'm a hustler at heart. Hustler at heart? That's Because I... I'm, my father was never read in his civics. He was never read in, in, in current affairs, and you can't read him. It cannot, it's, it's not in news. But I think the word, we need to redefine the word yes. hustler because hustler, hustler is people. Is being straight, no, no, no. People yeah. are misusing that term. It is because you you hustle and try to make life um, and meet and, and life beat. Mm -hmm. And when you make it, you can also grow not being given a silver platter. In fact, even the Bible describes a hustler as a person who works to earn. Okay, but well, you can still be successful and live large and you're still a hustler, right? Yeah, of course, yeah, you can. You can see, and, but like now, I'm still hustling. What I'm doing there is hustling. You're hustling down there. And as I hustle, I'm yeah. building other hustlers okay. who are working for me. Who are working for Certainly. you. So continuously, you can, you can be a hustler who is successful and build other hustlers to succeed. Any regrets? Zero. <laughs> Are you gonna show me the next, <laughs> the next room? Uh, yes, yes, it's no problem. The design in your home is obviously something that both of you, I'm sure, had worked on. I or did, did you leave her to do it? The interiors. Yes. Her business. Her business. It is. It, it's it her is business. her business. All I do is support. You give her the money. The support. Yes, yeah, certain support. Of course, she also does a bit of things. Yeah. But this is her business. Fantastic. I only fit in. Yeah. Uh, in part of support okay and of course enjoying what she has done yes mm -hmm. that's amazing yeah. so when did you meet your wife <sighs> and where did you meet to... her you know I, uh... what's your love story I'm interested to do why did I make this specific she how did I we meet I was introduced to her by a former uh, colleague, sorry, schoolmate who was working with her at the bank. And I told him, boss, I want to grow to family now. Uh -huh. He was my classmate. So he said, let's go and have lunch with her. With her she was some, a banker? Some, some good, yes, with a banker. Okay. Working for Standard Bank that time. All right. And uh, the rest is history. And in fact, because uh, not because I was in a hurry, but I, th I realized it was a jewel I didn't want to lose. So it was extremely quick in terms of fixing everything. <laughs> so you so, dated for how long and you married in how long? Well, I think it was less than six months. Less than six months? And wow. I think it was serious good gamble. Hey. I don't have any regrets. But I think for men, when you make a decision, mm -hmm. this is, you don't take time. That's what you're trying and to so, say. Yeah, sometimes if you procrastinate, you lose. Yeah, so if you made up your mind, proceed and hit the nail when it's hot. And that's what I did. Today, when you lose, you lose. Today, uh, suddenly. Today, uh, looking back, I thank God for it. I, I, yes. I don't yeah. know. You don't know. You come and you leave me here. I'm going to leave you here. But I think I'm lucky. <laughs> Let's go to that. <laughs> we want to have a to look see. at the kitchen. Yes. It's, yes. It's, Your kitchen is more than Hashimewa. I can do a very good meal. But I think my wife has spoiled me. But <clears throat> I, can, I can cook. Any delicious you don't, you don't surprise her during Valentine's, yeah. and you know you're like sometimes, this romance. Sometimes I can, I do, uh -huh. and my daughters don't believe. <laughs> so I, what I, do you I, make for her? I wonder. Of course, ugali naturally. Ugali is what is standard, uh -huh. and I can do some good chapels. This and basically, part of the issues which you need to know is this: this is not, this is not gas. This is biogas over cows. Really? This is biogas we're talking about. So Incredible. The benefit of a cow. Look at the blue frame. Blue frame. Unbelievable. Guys, look at this that. This proper gas from cow dung. So, I'm waiting to go to the farm. We need to prepare you for that. Yeah. So that uh, I'm have ready. a dust coat and everything mm. else. Yes. That we shall. Yeah. And then we, because we are going to a different environment. Exciting.
I want to know. I'm a lay person. I want to do the farming. Yes. I don't even know where to start. What cow should I go for that will give me max? You know, because I know first of all you're doing smart dairy farming. You have all these machines from Netherlands. Mm -hmm. You studied agriculture as well. Basically, for commercial production, yeah, uh, frisians are best because of the frisians. Frisians, yeah. Okay. Hosting frisians. Uh -huh. This one we sanitize our feet. Okay. Before we get to the farm, okay. where we, if there is any uh, viruses you had, like foot and mouth disease, oh. this sanitize here, yeah, and then we, we ensure the cows are safe. Okay. So frisians are best cows for for you know, commercial business. Okay. Uh, but of course, ashes are good in terms of, uh, uh, if you want to add value, mm -hmm. they, are, they are rich in fat content. Oh, which one is yeah, The ashes. Ashes, so, okay. Yeah, ashes are good in, mm -hmm. Asha or uh, jerseys are good for, because the, the, uh, the milk is uh, high, rich. rich in, or rather they are the high fat content, butter, butter content. Mm -hmm. The frisians, the milk is probably the same, but the volumes are higher. Volumes. Of course, they eat they, they eat more than the others, right? Which is much more profitable? The one the with frisia, high fat? The frisians are better anytime. Okay, anytime. okay, okay, mm -hmm. okay. Interesting. So, at what age do you buy the the calves? Uh, I bought ones. You bought Since once? them, I've been breeding. Yes. You're joking. Yes, I bought How ones. How many did you buy? I started with three cow, uh, cows from my. Uh, Rift Valley Technology Farm. Mm -hmm. And that is where I got my first three cows, mm -hmm. which by luck they all come down heifers. Question um, Will you take me through the journey of how you began? Because I can see there are little calves there, mm -hmm. and I want our viewers to get a glimpse of how it looks that like. That is exactly what we'll do. Yes. In just a minute. Okay. Yeah, so this is where we start. Mm -hmm. Like if you want to know the journey yes. to milking. Uh -huh. This is where we start. This is a, a um, calf pen. We call, we call them calf pens. Okay. We turn as a dama. Uh -huh. And uh, I can tell you, if you, the quality of milk and quantity you want to get, it starts with breeding these babies. Okay. When you get it right here, uh -huh. you have good milk. And you see, all these things are elevated so that they don't slip on the floor because the floor can be very cold for the havers. Yes. The babies, yes. they can uh, catch you, get pneumonia. Okay. Am I allowed to yeah, touch? Yeah, you, you, can. you can. You can because I know you sanitized yourself. Yes. yes. Oh. He, he, he's scared. He's scared. Uh -huh. Just like What's that. his name or her name? Like, this, that's, that's a boy. It's a boy. This is, and now I want to tell you. Yes. This is the newest twins. Born, born really? Yesterday. They are so cute. And the one, one is a boy old. and the one is a girl. The one day old. And I want to confirm with your permission that uh, this is, should be Naila. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Or if you look, if you look, if you look at all of them, the girls have got you know, earrings. <laughs> don't, 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 don't earring girls. Yes. But they were born yesterday, I don't see them yet. Uh -huh. I want your permission so you can name. No, she's responding for she sure loves, that, is, that that's a privilege yes, thank you Naila. and an honor look how beautiful she is thank you thank you thank this, you this i think uh, historically this i think the fourth twin we have had since 2010. wow so, so we came with luck we must we, we, and we, blessings we are, we are lucky a lot yes so we have, we have twins. although they they they, they say bi biologically that uh, if you have twins from a cow, yeah, one either one of them may may not be you know may not be fertile. Okay. Because of uh, I don't know why the competition in terms of uh, hormones. Sharing, uh, yes. Yeah. So there is a bit of a challenge there when they are the the uh, the twins. Okay. But basically, you, we are blessed. What we do yeah. is we clean the udder first. Okay. Don't get scared. They will okay. not go from here, so relax. Okay. We clean the udder first. Uh-huh. Each cow has got a specific napkin. Okay. For each one of them. Okay. So that if one is infected or sick, yeah. 
It doesn't detect the other. Okay, so each one of them each is one of them uses this one. Okay. One can one. I clean one? Yeah, you can. You can. You can clean one. Try this one. Do I dry no, completely? No, don't dry. Yeah, with water. Yeah, no, don't dry. Yeah. That way. That way. Gently. Thank you. That way. That way. That way. She's ready to be sorted. So that's it, huh? That's it. That's it. That's and you separate. Okay. And you, separate. Okay. And you put it here. Different layer. Now. Okay. Now I want you to help my feet. This. Okay. Andrew, do you have any? Sir? Okay, give me like that. Okay. Uh -huh. Really? Uh-huh. <laughs> left, left huh? Congratulations. <laughs> that was nice. Yes, that's, that's really nice. Oh, wow. Okay. Let's see how much you produce today. Nice. Very nice. Hey. Daribu, Andrew, the manager, the big boy. Hey. Hooray! Hey. <laughs> let's have a cock moment, guys. Hey, no, hey! hey. Cock moment. Hey, let's have a cock Cheers. moment. Cheers. 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 Hooray! It's great milk. So is your business um, is your business profitable? The dairy farming business? To some extent with a good environment, yeah. you can make money in dairy farming. Is this a good environment? Our economic model is, is actually up, uh, tweaked upside down, but yes. I believe uh, uh, with the tweaking it in terms of empowering a low end farmer, you can put money in people's pockets and I'm sure it's profitable. If you look into the issue of uh, inputs for uh, the, the cost of production. Okay. Like cost of feed, this is really the biggest hell. Okay. Cost of production. Cost of production. Is but it, I can tell you, uh -huh. I, if we do not for the setback, I was breaking even and uh, we're turning about 1.5 million a month. 1.5 million yeah, a month? Yeah, yes, yes. We remove we the expenses, you're sitting with about six, seven hundred thousand. Six and six. It's possible, it's doable. And we had a setback in terms of uh, the outbreak, mm -hmm. but we are get it, get it there. And the coming year, the end of the year, we should be doing. Good business. Nice of you, Mheshimiwa. That's a honor for me. I'm not too sure whether. Because <laughs> I believe. I, I sought to... permission from my mama so you can know this. Oh! <laughs> yes, yeah, so, so, that's a pleasure, but I, I, she oh has. Oh my goodness. You have expressed right to do so. Or do you want to serve yourself? No, no, I need to be served. I'm spoiled. So you just spoil me a bit. Now, you've talked to me about your passion, which is, you know, dairy farming, mm -hmm. and we've learned so much from you. Um, what next for you, Heshimu, in the next maybe five years? What should we expect from you? I know you've been very, you know, um, you've always been in politics. Are you going back to politics? First and foremost, mm -hmm. I, I aspire to continue hustling uh -huh. in this dairy farm. Uh -huh. And then uh, push my farm to where it was last year even better. Okay. So we're projecting to do about a thousand, a thousand liters at the end of the year. Okay. That is on our business front. Mm -hmm. Politically, I've been out for 10, 11 years today. Mm -hmm. By God, the grace of God, and I told you, and I've, I don't hide my, my what I stand for. Yeah. Since I'm uh, also part of the hustler movement, yes, I am running for Kisi County Governor. 2022 on a UDA ticket. UDA ticket, okay. And that is where I want to empower those little hustlers at the ground, as grassroots mm -hmm. to be able to produce something like this mm -hmm. and it can be done. Because with Kisi, where we have a plenty of, I mean, not too much space, mm -hmm. 
but sufficient good climate, okay. you can do three times what I'm doing on this one acre. Wonderful. And indeed, and, and, and the, people, the Bible tells me, my people perish for lack of knowledge. Yes. Uh, people leave four acre piece of land in Kisi mm -hmm. to come and work for some company in that area mm -hmm. for 300 shillings a month a day. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Most of which is taken away by expenditure. Yes. They can't even save. Yeah. I want to promise that uh, I want to transfer this technology to Kisi. Okay. And Kisi will be truly a good, I mean, a true canon in yes. Kenya. Yes. We shall be having milk and honey. Wonderful. And uh, I can promise you, we shall empower our people. Mm. And even manufacture that uh, school going babies. Yes. Kindergarten and nursery. Yes. And that money will be circulating within the economy. That is what I want to do next uh, from next year, yeah. God willing. Okay. And uh, so you want I'm, the I'm sure knowledge that you've acquired over this year to pass it back to society. To pass it back. We to must society. go back to the community. Okay. And, and change lives. Wonderful. So people should look forward to hearing from you very soon. And um, I want you to talk to the young people. Look into the camera. Mm -hmm. That's your camera right there. And talk to the young people because we always look for white collar jobs. We want to go to the city. Maybe we have land as this but we don't maximize the opportunities that we have to our young people yes to our young wonderful kenyans yes who are industrious and hard working you can turn money by touching soil and even the garden of eden god gave us the soil and plants and animals to tender you can make your money by not taking shortcuts don't want to be rich instantly. Easy come, easy go. It calls for patience. Like the job we are doing of daily, it calls for a lot of patience and passion. Yes. The Bible also tells me yeah. that if you do not work, then don't eat. The only way you can drop to eat is by dropping a sweat. And it's doable. Yes. Uh, people can be empowered, can be enriched using some little technology. Yeah, I'd like to first do some drink. Oh. Uh, Thank you, thank yeah. you, it's kind of you. Now you are spoiling me. Oh, well. The only thing is that you have permission from Mama. <laughs> yes, that, that, <laughs> that I take very kindly. Thank <laughs> you. So what we do is, uh, yeah. and we encourage our people mm -hmm. to really work to earn. Yes. A young graduate wants to leave university today and drive a VX tomorrow. And I, this is courtesy of us leadership who have given a bad example by taking shortcuts. You must account for your wealth. You must tell me how you've grown. Enjoy your money. Let's create morals within our society. And that's what I aspire to do. And that change. That habit of working. I can tell you, people won't be using water to sh to wash their faces. Yes. We shall be using milk and honey. Ha. Makes it even more beautiful. Absolutely. You know. Thank you, Muheshimiwa, for having us. I think I have learned so much from you. Um, you can actually utilize a, a small space as this and make it profitable and do so much more. I'm sure you've hired people out here. Yes, we're an employer. You're an employer. It's about 15 Kenyans. We're hacking a living from this. From this. And let me tell you also. Yeah. I don't have to be in this. Yeah. But sometimes. Yes. You do it for the benefit of others. To benefit other people, wonderful. And that's why we're building these hustlers. Yeah. Those ones who, whose fathers are not known, like my dad, yeah. who did a wonderful job, yes. but he has never written history, civics books, mm -hmm. never read in history, and you can't, you could, even if he was alive today, you couldn't read him in current, in current affairs. Those are the kids want to prove, and they're in numbers, and they're in millions. The reason that I'm also bought to the idea of a hustler movement mm -hmm. is the more economic model where you're going to push money, not from the top, not at the top, but drop the money at the grassroots, change. In fact, I wish you took a, a picture of a mongrel cow almost like that cow, by changing the, the feeding protocol, mm -hmm. we actually tripled our output from seven liters to 28 liters. A quick fix, a quick fix that you improve on what you have to make a difference. That's what I want to do. And it's not about space science. I have done it. It works. It is doable. Are you living the life of your dreams? To be honest, yes. And God has given me more than I expected. 
Wonderful. Thank you so much, Ms. Shimiwa, for having Art of Living at your space. We've enjoyed seeing how you produce your milk, how you do your farming. It's been an incredible experience. I hope you guys at home have learned one or two things about dairy farming. For sure, I must come and buy a cow from you. Anytime. Anytime. I can even give you one donation so you can touch lives elsewhere. I can, t that's amazing. I, I must start dairy farming because this has been such a wonderful experience. Hope you guys have been inspired as much as I have. Thank you for watching and don't forget to follow me at Miss Nylante on Instagram and at Nylante Kenga on Twitter for more. Thank you for watching. See you next week.